Good morning to all of our relatives and elders. Thank you for being here with me. My name is Malia and I am leading our Creative Connections Hour today. While we're waiting for people to get in and get settled, please do feel free to grab anything that you need to get creative and comfortable. For me, it's always a glass of water and a hot cup of tea. Perhaps for you, it's coffee or a blankie or a sweater. And also, of course, right now is an excellent time to gather your art supplies or your journal. During our Creative Connections Hour, we will breathe, we will stretch, we will take moments to discuss our wellness through essential oils, through teas and other natural medicines, and also Today I'm gonna to be coloring. So anything that you need for our elders who do have their Creative Connections care packages, those contents are great. We have lots of activities that you can choose to do with me today, um, whether that be your coloring pages, your gratitude journal, um, you can even just draw. All you need really is a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. It can even be a scrap piece of paper. Let's get creative. While we're waiting for everyone to get in, I am going to smudge for us. If you have items with you at home to smudge, now is a great time to do that as well. If you don't have these items at home, that is perfectly okay. I am going to send some positive healing energy your way. Today is a new day and a new morning. I hope you have an opportunity for rest, peace, reflection, and relax, relaxation. Again, my name is Malia and I am a community healer here at the Her Wellness Institute. We focus on the mental health and wellness of our relatives of Turtle Island, as well as other indigenous and underserved communities and also victims of crime. You can join us here for our Creative Connections every Tuesday at 10 a.m. And we'll spend about an hour or so together exploring our creativity as a path to relaxation, wellness, and self-care. I also wanted to take a moment to recognize our amazing Her Wellness team who is online here with us right now. Moderating for us is our CARES counselor and also my cohort here in this Tuesday morning program, Xavier Smart. I wanted to take a moment to recognize Xavier and say thank you for all the work that you do Xavier is an instrumental um, person in all the programming that we develop here together. He does amazing work as a CARES counselor. Um, all of the exercises that we do that focus on gratitude today and a lot of the components of this class or of this, this meeting really is Xavier. So thank you, Xavier, for being you and being a fantastic, amazing person to work with. Also, I wanted to take a moment to recognize our Community Engagement and Indigenous Affairs Director, Jamie Kellycutt. Jamie is an absolutely amazing person. And it's so funny because so often, um, many times people think that I'm Jamie because we're both tall and we both have long, dark hair. And um, so I take that as a huge compliment, Jamie. And um, it happened again a couple, it was last, sometime last week, 
um, even on um, when I was doing one of our um, reflections and resilience videos, um, someone kept calling me Jamie. Anyways, Jamie, good to see you here for a moment. To all of our elders out there and to all of our relatives out there, I want to take a moment as well to welcome you and thank you so much for joining me this morning and also for taking time to be creative, to allow ourselves to explore, allow ourselves to just be in the moment. We don't need to be artists. We don't need to be experts. All we have to do is just have fun. You'll find being present in these moments can be very, very soothing. And I, for me, I absolutely look forward to doing this with you relatives every Tuesday. It is a pleasure. So thank you so much. Xavier Ditto. He says, Malia, thank you for your kind words. It's an honor to work with you. You're an amazing healer and filled with so much light. Agreed back at you, Xavier, and also to all of our relatives out there. I want to remind you that at the Her Wellness Institute, our founder and CEO, Leah Denny, developed and coined a term that we call community activated medicine. And what that means is people are the medicine. And what that also means is that we have the ability to heal ourselves. If people are the medicine, so are we. And sometimes medicine looks like going to the doctor or talking to a counselor or a specialist or a nutritionist, or sometimes it looks like exercise and diet, right? Eating nutritional things. But oftentimes we don't always look at things like exploring art and honoring our culture and traditions and honoring our resilience as a way of activating our own healing and recognizing that we do have our own power within us to do that. Also for our elders, um, I want to say thank you so much for all of the insight and wisdom that you bring here to this page and in life in general. It has been absolutely amazing to connect with you and I look forward to um, the next time that we connect in person. In the meantime, it is a wonderful place to be able to connect with you here. So thank you so much to our elders. I think about all of you, um, Judy, Greg, Anna, Becky, um, Heidi, everyone out there, Mary, there's so many of us, and much love and aloha to you all. All right. I want to start with a check-in, and I have with me a stone that I always have nearby when I do videos and I speak to our relatives, and I keep the stone nearby because if I ever need it, if I ever need to hold on to something, or if I'm thinking and I just want some positive thought and energy or a place to put in maybe how I'm feeling, I have the stone right here. And perhaps you have one of these items at home. Maybe it's a stone. Maybe it's a shell or a crystal. Maybe it's a trinket or something special that you have or someone has given you. Maybe it's a little stuffed animal. But whatever it is, if you have one of these items nearby, you can always put your thoughts into this. It's my grounding stone. Okay, now is an excellent time for me to discuss the fragrances that I am smelling. I like to introduce everyone to an essential oil every time that we meet. Um, the, and the essential oil that I am using today is clove. And I wish you had smell-o-vision because it smells so good. Ah, it is a 
Um, clove is an excellent um, antimicrobial, antiviral, excellent cleanser. Um, I like to put a drop of clove on my dental floss. So I literally put it on a drop on my finger and I take my dental floss and I run it across the dental floss. And my gums are so healthy and so happy. And they have not always been that way. But I know that it's a combination of the tea that I drink and the clove and flossing. It has a beautiful spicy smell. Mm. And I have it diffusing right now in my diffuser. And for our elders out there, when we do send our next Creative Connections care package, which is coming fairly soon, we'll let you know when it's coming, um, we will be able to send essential oils for you to smell. So you will get the smell sense, and we can let you know more about that when it comes. I am looking forward to giving you some essential oils. Aloha Val, wonderful to see you. I hope that you are doing okay today. Love you. And just hoping the best for you today, Val, and to all of our relatives out there. Okay, before we get into our art, we're gonna do two things. I'm gonna share with you the tea that I'm drinking today. And also to our relatives and elders out there, please feel free to comment. Let us know what, if you are drinking tea or if you have your coffee or whatever elixir you may have today, please feel free to share that. And the tea that I am drinking today is oolong. Um, I didn't, it was like a very slight boil. I didn't boil it hard. And I just steeped it for a couple of minutes. Oolong is caffeinated. Um, this oolong is from the Fava Tea Company. And um, this one is called Brittle Me This because much like brittle, it has nuts in it. And so oolong, I really like, I love oolong. It's very, very good um, if you're focusing on weight loss or um, dieting and also digestion. Um, it really is an excellent, excellent tea if you're focusing on weight loss, fat burning. Um, of course, always speak to your doctor or physician if you're trying um, new, even holistic medicine or holistic teas. Um, I know that this has, um, oolong does have caffeine in it. And also, um, this is an ancient Chinese tea. It's been around for thousands and thousands of years smells amazing and this brittle me this flavor has walnuts in it look at that gorgeous walnut mm. walnuts are excellent for brain health and just the color of this tea is so gorgeous very dark but yeah the trick with oolong tea is you can't boil it too much. You, it's, it's like just above steaming and then you turn off the water and I throw a couple of sprinkles into my water. And this morning I did it with um, there's ginger in there, there's turmeric and then there's my oolong tea. So I have turmeric root smells amazing it's an excellent anti-inflammatory and this is a really big turmeric root normally they're pinky size and thin and long this one is like palm size it's very big and then i also have my ginger root they both smell amazing turmeric smells like cinnamon honey carrot citrus and ginger smells very sweet and florally with a spicy tinge to them. I peeled and coin sliced them both, boiled them, and then once it just came to a boil, I added my tea of brittle me this. My beautiful new teacup. Very fancy. I don't have to use my tea strainer.
I am going to put my little thingy on the top, snap it in, and cheers everyone to good health, wellness, and in honor of our elders. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. I wish I could share, but no worries. We'll send teas in our care packages. We always do. So we'll always give you some tea. <clears throat> All right. Let's take a moment to do some deep breathing and a stretch for our hands as we get ready to get into our artwork. I'm going to put my feet on the floor, my hands gently in my lap. I'm sitting up straight. My shoulders are down and back. I'm going to close my eyes, but you can sit however you feel comfortable, and closing your eyes is optional too. I'm going to breathe in through the nose for a count of four. I'm going to exhale through the mouth for a count of six. Are you ready, relatives? Here we go. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. Let's continue on as we deep breathe, deep breathe with the shoulder stretch. And we're gonna open the arms up as we bring one arm across. All oh, we're stretching out our shoulder here and also part of our upper back and we're rolling the wrist at the same time. Other side, deep inhale hand stretch as we roll out that wrist. Inhale as we bring the arm out and forward in front of us, straightening the arm and gently pushing down on the fingertips. We're stretching the forearm and the wrist here. If this doesn't feel good, you can just stop and you can roll your wrist here like this. Okay, you don't have to do this move if you don't want to. Feels good for some, but not everybody. All right. Let's go ahead and stretch out those fingers. I'm gonna push down on the pinky and the ring finger. Do this at your own tempo, your own pace. I know for me, I don't draw in color as much as I used to. So I've noticed that my hands get tired a little bit more quickly than they used to because I'm more used to typing on my computer than holding a little pencil so I'm gonna clasp my fingertips together push my palms out reaching up and bending oh I heard a crack <sighs> let's go ahead and stretch our neck we're gonna look from side to center side to center we're gonna roll the chin from side to side keeping it in the front Let's double tap our ear towards our shoulder. And then we're gonna look down towards our lap and up towards the ceiling. And up. Okay. You feeling nice and warm and relaxed? I hope that you are. Now we get to get into our creative section. So today we have a lot of options for your creative um, connections care packages. You were given um, origami paper, origami paper, um, not for the paper art folding, but to make hearts. A lot of people have been putting hearts in their windows, so you have the option if even if you don't have origami paper at home, you can always cut out hearts with construction paper. Um, you just fold on a dotted line 
or not on the dotted line, you fold in half to make a line. And then on the folded crease, you draw a curve around. So like this. So if you want, you can make hearts. And then you just cut around and that will open up to a heart. So you have options for that. We also have um, your option to do journaling. We do, um, I have found that journaling is an amazing tool for healing, reflection, and self-care. Um, I have a journal that I am adamant about writing in. Um, right here, all of our... Um, Elders in their creative connections have received a journal like this, as well as you also have a hardcover journal. So you can use either one if you want. And if you choose not to participate in the art, you can just do journaling and Xavier and I will give you prompts throughout this session where you can go ahead and, um, and write in your journal. Also, you don't need a journal at all. Maybe it's a piece of scrap paper or computer paper or loose leaf or an old notebook. The intention is still there. The benefits are still there. It doesn't need to come in some sort of fancy package, right? It's still good for us. And as well, um, oops. I today am going to be doing coloring. If you're ready to color, draw, doodle, or paint, you're welcome to do that right now as well. Um, I just want to show you some of the things that I've been looking at to do today. I either want to do the pansies or I want to do the butterfly picture. I like this design. Um, it's, it's not very complicated because some of the dry the colorings that I've done were so detailed and I like this one because the detail is minimal but it's it's nice so I'm looking forward I'll probably do this one pretty much just convinced myself to do that one here's some art I've done in the past I'm not very good at completing it oh my son did this this is his monsters he loves to draw monsters he has monster books and here's one of the pieces that I have done. Here's another one my son did. This is the first coloring page that I did in a very long time and I really enjoyed it. I believe these are called mandalas. I just loved doing this one. It was one of my favorites. Hot air balloons, which I I wasn't happy is happy about the color choice, but it was really fun. And I started this goldfish one or the koi one. And this was so cool. I did with acrylic paint. So the other ones were colored pencil, but it was really fun to do with acrylic paint. So in your Creative Connections care package, you may have see, seen that you had um, pictures in honor of May Day, Lay Day, Cinco de Mayo. Um, there was all sorts of coloring pages. Oh, even Star Wars, because it was May the 4th. And so for the month of May, we stayed consistent with a few themes. So I'm going to grab my coloring pencils right here. And I am ready to explore. I got my old coloring pencil box here. And I'm going to pull out some colors like my greens, Prisma colors. I have Crayolas. And I'm just going to pull out some random colors. Even I have some beautiful pinks and blues oranges and do continue to color feel free to begin for our journalists out there we can also begin 
on your gratitude journal, you can start and begin your writing to write how you're feeling today. How are you feeling? So I have my coloring page here. I'm going to angle it downwards and I kind of want to show you some of my favorites. Look at this beautiful lavender color. Have this beautiful like sea green color. Although on the camera it looks kind of more blue. It's beautiful pinks and oranges. I'm excited. I needed this. This is good. All right, and I'm going to start. I think I'll actually start with. Um, I'm going to start with this orange color, light orange. And I'm going to kind of just keep my pencils to the side. And we'll take moments to stretch and breathe. Anytime that you feel you need to take a break, you can get up and stretch around. You can just put your pencils or crayons down and rest. You can stretch. You can stop all together when you're done. If you feel like you've just done enough for today, that's okay. It's perfectly okay. This is all about you. This is all about your wellness. This is about exploring. No worries about making mistakes. We're just going to have a good time. And I'm just kind of going around these flowers. And I always go a little bit heavier handed on the outside. And here. And notice I'm not filling in <clears throat> the orange completely. See, I'm not filling it in in the center because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some yellow and kind of fill in that part. You can use crayons. You can use um, even acrylics or charcoals. You can use colored pencils, whatever you like. Just again, filling around the edges of each petal. You know, this reminds me of this. Little sunflower. It's a real one. It's a real, and it's a beauty. Flowers remind me of people. In our, in my Hawaiian tradition, we often compare people to flowers through the beauty, through their tenderness, the way that they incite a sense of love and calm. There's so many different types of flowers, 
all different colors and shapes and sizes, just like people. Some flowers need sunlight, lots of sun to be well. Some flowers need shade. And while I'm coloring, let's go ahead. For our journalists out there, I will give you a journal prompt if you would like to journal. Let me give you one here. What challenges do I have? And what am I learning from these challenges? What challenges do I have? And what am I learning from these challenges? That's one of our journal prompts, if you would like to journal. Lemons to lemonade, right? I know things aren't easy. We all face challenges, struggles. And those challenges that we're facing, you can list three obstacles that you're going through right now. What are three obstacles that you're experiencing right now? And what are you learning from them? So if you want to, you can journal and you can respond to that, or you can, they're, they're just guidelines. You can respond, you can write whatever you want. You don't even have to address that question if you don't want to, but that's a good journal prompt question. Thank you, Xavier, for providing us with lots of different journal prompts. Okay, so I have this beautiful orange color that I just kind of went heavy handed around the edge and then went later into the center, but I left the center blank. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this yellow. This brand was Crayola. This is a Crayola one. This one is Hardmuth Polycolor. So it's just a basic yellow here. I'm going to go in the center and kind of fill it in. Now I want to say I noticed from using the, um, the Crayola and then using this brand, this brand is softer so that the lead spreads easier. I don't have to push as hard. And the color is like, it's a brighter color. And so you can see how the petals now have a very, um, they have depth to them. They, they we're using multiple colors and see I'm even going heavy handed around the edges with the yellow to blend the orange and yellow. And it's really bringing the colors together nicely. It's pretty, hey? Checking in with the journalists, seeing how our journalists are doing. What is the best part of your day? Choose a moment. Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it's your day so far. Maybe it's just a day you had that you just had a moment in your mind that made you happy. Choose a moment that made you happy. How did it feel? What were you doing at the time?
Again, I'm going heavy handed with the yellow even over the orange to blend it. And you can see how rich the color becomes. And I'm going to finish up the flower petals here. And after I do that, I'm going to stretch my hands because my hands are getting a little bit tired. Look at how pretty that is. Mm, I love it. There's something about color that really allows us to experience our emotions through color. And whenever I see yellow and orange, it's a very stimulating color. It really does revitalize and energize the spirit. And there it is. Let's take a moment. I want to show you this beautiful color. You can see the richness and the blending of the yellow. So I just use these two colors, a Crayola orange and another brand of yellow, and it really gives it some depth. And I went heavier handed around the edges and I left with the orange and then I left the center white and then I took the yellow and filled in the white part and went heavy handed around the petals with the yellow. And it creates a really nice um, rich tone Okay, so we have, let's take a moment and stretch. And while I stretch the fingers and roll the wrist, I want to take a moment to recognize um, Barbara Black Deer McKenzie. She is our board president and she is here with us. Barbara, miss you. Judy, I miss you too. You are the best. Thank you for doing this, Judy. Thank you for being you. Um, you're in my thoughts daily and I hope that you're doing well and okay out there. Um, I thought the lay that you made was absolutely beautiful. So thank you for doing that with me. And, um, I just miss you all. So I'm so glad we can connect this way. Um, as a matter of fact, in June, so a couple of weeks from now, a little bit more than a couple of weeks, um, Xavier and I are going to be doing our summer book club and um, while you stretch, I'll let you know a little bit about, where did I put that? Oh, here it is. The, um, the virtual um, elders book club for the summer of 2020. We have chosen our book. The books have been ordered. The book is Ceremony by Leslie Marmon Silco. And for all of our elders, our book club elders, um, I don't know if you've read this yet, um, but Greg, Greg um, said that he read this book and he says it's an amazing read. So he said we will enjoy it and he's looking forward to um, joining us in this read as well. Um, and I'll read the description for you. Um, and you can continue to color if you like. I just, I'm taking a hand. You can stretch if you need to get water. If you want to keep going or you're done, you absolutely have that choice. Tayo, a young Native American, has been a prisoner of the Japanese during World War II, and the horrors of captivity have almost eroded his will to survive. His return to the Laguna Pueblo Re Reservation only increases his feelings of estrangement and alienation. 
while other returning soldiers find easy refuge in alcohol and senseless violence. Tayo searches for another kind of comfort and resolution. Tayo's quest leads him back to the Indian past and its traditions, to beliefs about witchcraft and evil, and to the ancient stories of his people. The search itself becomes a ritual, a curative ceremony that defends the most virulent of afflictions and despair. So this one sounds like a, a deep read, but it sounds very interesting. Um, and as I mentioned, Greg really recommends um, this book, and I look forward to reading it with you all. So Summer Book Club, it's coming. Summer Book Club. All right, I'm stretched. I'm gonna take my cup and sip of tea here. I think that oolong also has coconut in it. I just, I taste coconut. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. But fava does that, fava teas, they have a way of doing interesting and delicious combinations. All right, for our gratitude journalists out there or anyone who's journaling out there, let's do another prompt. We can begin um, on this next journal um, gratitude prompt is list 10 things that you're grateful for. List 10 things that you're grateful for. You can even list five. You can list 50 if you want. I'm going to get back to my coloring. So I'm going to go back down here. And I think this time I am going to use a couple different yellows because I don't want all the flowers to look, um, I don't want them all to look exactly the same, but I don't want them to be all different colors. I want them to be different shades of um, yellow and orange. So So I'm just pulling out a couple more yellows here. This is a light ochre, so it's kind of like a brownish yellow mustard color. This is a dark yellow. Here we have an orange from Liquimark. Liquimark is another brand. And here we have Crayola's yellow orange as opposed to Crayola's orange. Mm -hmm. This one is a watercolor pencil, so I'm not going to use that one. And then I have a canary yellow. Oops, and this canary yellow needs to be sharpened. So I have my handy sharpener here. I'm just going to open it. And I'm going to sharpen. So if you like doing art together, um, oh, let me start with my oranges. On Fridays, at 4 p.m., Barbara's daughter, um, uh, Joe, Joe McKenzie. Joe McKenzie is just an amazing soul. I mean, she is an old soul. She's a young woman, but she is an old soul. And um, she does Zentangle art, which is art that you just do with pencil, ink, and paper. That's it. Pencil, pen, and paper. She does beautiful artwork. It's mistake-proof art, and you don't need to be an artist to do Zentangle. Um, it's, oh, it's an absolutely soothing and amazing, it's meditative almost, art form. So Fridays at 4 p.m., and if you ever miss them, you can always check her last Friday video it was stunning. Why is this pencil not sharpening? Let me try a couple more. Okay, 
So that pencil is not working. I'm just going to go and use this orange from Liquimark. So again, I'm going to work on this petal now, or these petals. I want you to kind of be able to see what I'm doing here. I go heavy handed around the edges. Oh, I actually, this, I like this pencil. It's the lead seems good. And just kind of Liquimark is the brand. It's doesn't seem as nice as the um, Prismacolor ones that I use, but it's kind of, it's soft yet dry lead. Feels good. And this flower is bigger, so it's easier to work with these flower petals. For our journalists, were you able to list 10 things? 10 things that you were grateful for? You can always share it too if you're not journaling and you're just kind of watching. Um, you can always share um, those things, like what you're grateful for, right on the comment section here. Um, you're more than welcome to always share your insight and your feelings, your thoughts. This is a safe place for you. I am grateful that I am able to do artwork with you all. How cool is this? We get to do art together from our own homes. I'm super grateful for that. When you need to, you can go ahead and massage your forearms or your arms or stretch your fingers. Remember at any time you can put the pencil down or your crayons down or your markers. Here's a journal prompt for our relatives journaling. This one I'm just coming up with in my mind. Name some things about you that you love. List at least three things about you that you love. And I can put it this way too. What are some things about you that are unique? What are some things about you that you love? Some things about you that are unique. As a reminder, what an amazing and resilient individual you are how strong you are. Perhaps it is your strength that you love. Perhaps it's your resilience. Have your hand in around the edges. Judy says, I am really enjoying learning techniques you use to color. I am also journaling while watching. All right. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, I am. Um, I went to art school for for some years. I 
I had an art scholarship and I was really in my teens when I went to college for art school. And um, at about 20 years old, I decided that I didn't want to do art as a career anymore and I changed my, my major. And so it's been a long time since I picked up a pencil or a pen or any artwork really and have done any artwork since then. And so this has been really good for me because I kind of thought that that part of my life was done. I just thought I was done doing, you know, visual art. And so it's been really healing to be able to do this with all of you because I, I just thought that it was part of me that was over. And um, I know we're coloring, right? So it's like, it's, it's very relaxing and it just, it feels so good. Like it's just coloring reminds me of being a kid. I loved to color when I was a little kid and uh, it really does bring me back to that. So thank you so much. All right. I'm going to use this canary yellow. This is Prisma color. So this is like a really soft pencil lead. They cost a little bit more, um, but I love them so for me it's for me it's worth it because I really do like the soft leads um and it's more ah I just broke my lead it's more <laughs> it's more gentle um on the hands I've noticed to have a softer lead I don't have to push so hard hopefully this these will actually work I'm gonna try this pencil sharpener and also too for our journalists um, let me come up with my own prompt. Fear aside. So fear aside, what, I mean, don't, no worries about money. No worries about, can I do this? Can I not do it? Letting go, this pencil just keeps breaking. I don't know. Maybe I won't be able to use this color. Um, but fear aside, what are some things you've always wanted to do, but haven't done yet? What are some things you've always wanted to do, but haven't done yet? Is there anything you've always wanted to do, but haven't done yet? Now I'm going in with this yellow. Again, blending around the edges. So I'm going around the edges to kind of blend that orange and yellow together. Xavier, what's something you always wanted to do but you haven't done yet? And of course, any of our watchers, any of our relatives out there, you can share if you want to share. You never know sometimes when you speak those things or type those things or think those things. They can come into fruition because we're just giving them energy like we're giving them um, a seed you know seeds stay dormant if there's no energy or light or foundation given to them they don't die they just stay dormant so i think of these things that we've always wanted to do as like dormant seeds just because we haven't activated them with light and love and solid foundation doesn't mean that they're not still seeds that can grow and so if there's something you've always wanted to do but haven't done yet, even thinking about it and typing it on a keyboard or writing it in a journal will give it a sense of life. We'll begin to give it a foundation to grow. For me, I think there's a lot of things I've always wanted to do but haven't done yet. A lot of them involve travel. Some of them involve creative projects. I'm going to speak one of one with you now. I've always wanted to do, but haven't done yet. I've always wanted to write a musical. And, um, 
So part of what I do for work is I am a musician. So a lot of the times I'm out like performing and, and um, playing music and um, but I have always wanted to write like a production that involved dance that involves dance and music. And so I'm happy to speak on it so that I can help it come to fruition sooner. Look at that beautiful yellow and orange. Looks really nice. And really my technique is it's pretty forward. I go heavier handed around the edges. I'll usually take a darker color on the outside and then I'll use a lighter similar color or a good color to blend. And then I'll fill it out and blend on the outer edges and work my way in. And that's one of my common techni techniques that I've always used when coloring, even as a kid. Ooh, I'm gonna stretch my arm a little bit stretch my fingers and my forearm. Okay, I have two more petals on this flower to finish it, to finish this, these flower petals anyway. And when I blend like the orange against the yellow, I do press harder because it does help to like distribute and blend them together more. Okay, let's check and see. Claudia says, that is so true, Malia. I made big changes in my life by getting still with journaling and doing projects that helped me to support myself and took me out of listening to others. Claudia, that is amazing. Um, I... So it sounds like maybe you experienced what I've experienced in a way, which is um, so much in, of my life. I spent a big part of my life kind of just doing what others told me to do and who like just taking the advice of others so much to heart and not listening to myself as much. And it led me to the realization that I wasn't being as authentic as I wanted to be. And I just didn't feel like I was being myself or being happy enough because I was just kind of like, oh, well, I suppose I'm supposed to do this. So I, so I should do this or I should be this way or that way. And um, that may not at all be your experience, Claudia, by any means. But um, just for me, I'm using Crayola Orange Yellow now. Just for me personally, um, that I found has been um, big for me is just to recognize what I want through journaling. Yes, through journaling. Claudia says, I love your picture. Thank you, Claudia. And I'm just going back with the orange. So here we go, flower number two. And these are two different yellows. They, they may look the same. Let me see. They look pretty darn similar, but these are two different. Yeah, this is a yellow and orange, and this is a different yellow and orange. But what I like about it is I don't like to use all the same colors on everything. You may, That may be what you're going for, but I'm looking for more of a variation in color, but not have it look unnatural. So maybe this one has a different color because of the way the sunlight hits it. Or maybe it was just the way the flower itself looked like. And maybe this one has a different color because of that. So now I'm going to try and pick another different yellow and orange. And, you know, I could have chose to make each color diff petal different color. I could have painted the petals black or neon green or there's no rules. And that's the beauty of art, too. You can absolutely do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Nobody can make any rules for you in art. And that's why I love art. We have so much freedom. And all I offer here is just guidelines and ways. Maybe if I was in a different mood, I would have done a rainbow color or I could have made it, the whole painting, the whole picture brown, different shades of brown or different shades of blue. 
So it, that sheds light on an important topic. Xavier, I can say right now that I know that you're going to do that <laughs> at some point. Maybe sooner, maybe later, but I have zero doubt in my mind, zero doubt in my mind, Xavier, that you will be doing that. I can say that with complete confidence, Xavier. You never know when or how soon. But it might just be a lot sooner than you think. Okay, so I have even more oranges and yellows here. Here's a vermilion, which almost looks like a red. This looks more red. I might use this later. Um, here is the Hartsmouth orange. And that's a watercolor pencil, so I'm not gonna use this. That's also a watercolor. Okay, so I am going to use I'm going to try to go back to this color that I wanted to do before, but I couldn't sharpen it. And this is canary yellow. And then I'm going to use this Hartmouth orange. So another yellow, another orange, as long as I can actually sharpen this pencil and not break the lead. All right. So for our journalists out there, let me come up with another prompt. Okay, another journal prompt. Let me see. I'm going to use this journal prompt here. Here, I'll give you a couple to choose something. Name someone that is nice to you or kind to you. Name someone that is nice to you or kind to you. And name someone that you feel grateful for. Oops, I'm, let me start with the orange. So here's my orange. I'm going to start with that. Final flower petals. Oh, I like this orange. This is very, goes on very smooth. Oh, yeah. And actually, compared to this, the Crayola, it's a lot smoother on the hand and compared to the Liquimark, it's also a lot better than both of those brands as far as the comfort. I think Prismacolor and Hartmuth so far. Um, also Spectracolor, those are expensive though. Um, well, so are Prismacolor, they're a little bit on the higher end, but they feel really good. This feels so much better than the other colored pencil I just used. It's really soft. So it's easier on the hand. Again, I'm just going heavier handed around the edges. You know, honestly, relatives, I wish this is what we were doing all day. <laughs> Can we just color all day and not do anything else? Let's just, let's just color from now on. And then we'll take eating breaks in between. <laughs> Okay, let me see here. Claudia says, yes, I did things because others wanted it, but it didn't get me the connection I was seeking. It was always never enough. Yeah. Pleasing others. It's kind of like, for me, I found it can be a vicious cycle because, yeah, it's not enough. It's not enough sometimes. And, and that reminds me, you are enough. All of you out there, you are enough. We are enough. I am enough. You are smart enough. You are experienced enough. You are capable enough. You are strong enough. You are enough. You don't need anything else to be enough. You're a sentient being. 
You have a soul, a heart, a body. That's enough. That's enough to deserve respect and honor. You don't need any more than that. You are enough. The hard part, part right, is sometimes believe that believing that we are enough and how do we believe that we are enough if we truly don't feel like we're enough and that reminds me of community activated medicine right the people are the medicine what is it that you need to believe that for me it's deep breathing i just honestly cannot believe um i honestly cannot believe um how much deep breathing really truly helps me in life i never thought i always you, you know you hear it all the time and you're like yeah yeah deep breathing yeah i know it's good but it genuinely can help you if you're struggling with that question or with that statement which is i am enough It really does because it centers the mind and it helps still the mind. And then it allows the mind to be able to reflect on those things, to reflect on being present, living with gratitude, and living with honor of ourselves and love. I truly mean this relatives. I don't mean this as like some platitudes or just something you say on like a greeting card. You know, I really do genuinely mean that. The deep breathing, the moments to be still and quiet like this, the moments to reflect are so, so beneficial. And I'm, and I truly, I don't mean it to be preaching. I, I really honestly don't mean it to be preaching. It's just, um, doing this work that I have, spending the time that I have with you, um, I feel it. I, I genuinely feel it. It feels good. It feels better. Because things haven't always been easy, and they're not going to be easy. Things are hard, and some days are harder than others, but, yeah, the breathing helps. The gratitude journals help. Okay, back to my yellow. So I'm really excited to blend with my new yellow. I had these, be oh, this lead is soft too. So the, oh man, these leads, the, these are both, oh no, one of them is Hartsmith and this one is Prismacolor brand. They feel really, really good. I could work with these colors all day. They feel a lot better than the, than the Crayola, that's for sure. And not a knock on Crayola, because Crayola does, you know, they do their thing. <laughs> but these really do feel good. And see how I kind of get to go heavier handed on the edges here to blend the orange and yellow together. Claudia says it is a good day to just do artwork. Man, I wish this was all I was doing all day today. I would just keep going and going. No. Here's another journal prompt for you. And this is just kind of one of the things that came into my mind. When I'm feeling down, I can do this to pick me up. So when you're feeling down, what are some things that you do to help pick you up? Maybe it's artwork, cooking, cleaning. Maybe it's Netflix and a glass of wine. But what are some things when you're feeling down? Could be exercise. 
If you can, list three things. I started a couple of weeks ago when we did the creative corner or the creative connection. Sorry, not creative corner. We did this together a few weeks ago and um, I started this beautiful, it was really intricate. Um, like there was like a flower mural and there was a indigenous couple standing and hugging and it was from a native wellness coloring book and I can't find it, but it was so beautiful and I was really happy the way it was turning out. Um, so if I find it, I can always go back to that one. I'm really happy the way this one is turning out. The colors of the orange and the yellow are so pleasant. And then I can smell the clove diffusing in my um, essential oil um, diffuser. I'm truly in my happy place. Thank you so much, relatives. Thank you so much. I got my tea. I got kicking it with my elders. <laughs> Kicking it with Xavier and Claudia and my mom. So I just had my birthday um, last week, Tuesday. And um, it, it really feels good. Like I feel, I feel, I just feel so positive. I feel like I know sometimes people say, oh, they don't want to get older and but for me, it was like, wow, I feel like, I just feel more like I finally am just coming into being okay with just being who I really am, I'm not trying to hide it. And that feels really good. Okay, look at this. Look at that. Isn't it interesting? So these are the highest quality um, colored pencils that I use, and you can see it. Can you tell the difference between that one from this one and these two? Really, really a difference in quality. But I like how all three of these are different. I can, even if I, if I wanted to, to kind of enrich these, like I did with these, by um, bringing in that colored pencil so bringing in the rich colors, and it's never too late. I can always add, see, I can always bring in kind of that deeper orange. And so you can always add, add layers. You can add, even if, if you wanted to get like really realistic with your colors, you could um, like start taking like a light blue pencil and maybe just do really fine or a light purple and really light fine lines down the petals so it looks like petal edges. Or you could even do that with your orange, see, so just going down like doing petals. I'm not going to do that. I don't think that's that's not the, like the feel that I want this, this one to have. So I'm just going to take this nice orange that I found, and I'm going to just go through the other petals to kind of bring in the richness of that color. And I don't know if you can see it now, it's starting to look more like this one, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And they're still gonna look not identical though, because this one has the two other colors, the Crayola um, and such. So the more colors you add, the more, you know, if I chose to do five different yellows and five different oranges, it will start to become um, more and more Dyna it'll look more dynamic. It'll look more rich, but um, yeah. So you can see now just from adding that little bit of color here, it's starting to have that richness. So I'm just going to pull to the bottom here. I'm going to pull some orange on this one too. And that's really going to unify the colors, but they're still different because there's it may not seem like it, but there's actually, I used six different colors. There's three different yellows, and there's three different um, reds. Um, Judy says, I love this color counseling. Awesome, Julie, Judy, because I totally love it too. Thank you, Judy, for saying so. 
I actually look forward to coloring on Tuesday and I, it's totally, it can't, it really can't come soon enough. I really feel like I just want to color for the rest of the day. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how realistic that is for me, but um, I will say that is what I want to be doing. And um, for our Creative Connections care packages to all of our elders, um, there's a lot of stuff in there. But if ever you, you know, you want more coloring pages, if you have a printer... You can Google coloring pages and whatever theme, nature, native, food, the kids stuff, um, holidays, whatever, you name it, you can get coloring pages free online and print them out at home. And you can also get, um, you can also get, um, well, we have, we, in our care packages, we have tons, but you can also get like on Amazon or half price books. I don't know if they're open yet. They might not be, but you can get um, coloring books or go to the dollar store, safely go to the dollar store. And see, now I'm just filling in and these all are starting to have a more vibrant look because I'm using this pencil lead from Prismacolor. What a difference it makes, eh? Look at that. I don't want to stop, but I think we have to stop. Um, next Tuesday, when we meet again, I'm going to color the leaves of this because I am dedicated to this page. Um, the only way that I won't color this one next week is if I color it before next week and I will share it if that happens, but, um, I will not be picking a different picture. I really want to see this one complete. So um, here it is so far. I look forward to filling in the leaves and the little butterfly and the little, I don't know what you call these here, but I'll make that a nice chocolate brown. And this reminds me so much, again, of our sunflower, the little guy here. Yeah. One more look. <laughs> All right. Before we go, I would like us to do a check-in and some deep breathing. The time flew by, I'll be honest. Thank you for a wonderful way to start the morning. I appreciate it so much. I hope this was as healing for you as it was for me. And um, I just appreciate that. So thank you, everybody. Um, all right, so we are going to do, let's take a look at this. Sorry, relatives, I'm just reading quick what Xavier has here. Okay. All right. Let's do some deep breathing. We're going to put our feet flat gently on the ground. After we breathe, we'll stretch and we'll do a final check-in. I'm going to put my hands gently in my lap and I'm going to close my eyes, but you can sit or lay any way that you feel comfortable. We're going to start by taking a deep inhale through the nose for four and exhale through the mouth for a count of six. Here we go. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. 
one more deep breath and we'll stretch inhale and exhale let's go ahead and roll those shoulders we're gonna focus on the arms here as we stretch let's take the arms out oh oh stretching stretching and yawning bringing that arm across as we roll out the wrist other side and bringing that arm across as we roll out the other wrist bringing the hand forward gently pushing down on the fingertips as stretches the forearm and continues to stretch the wrist if that doesn't feel good you can just roll the wrist Let's go ahead and stretch each finger. You can take your time on each finger or however long it takes. I just want to make sure I use my fingers pretty hardcore. I'm going to clasp the fingers and reach up. Oh. Oh, sorry for the yawns. Oh. And looking from side to center, side to center, and double tapping the ear towards the shoulder, and rolling the chin from side to side, keeping your chin in front from shoulder to shoulder. And we'll finish by looking down gently at our lats, and looking up, looking down at our laps, and looking up. Let's do a check-in, relatives. I want to see how you're doing. I have my stone here. How are you doing? Can always share. And you don't have to. I hope that you're doing okay. Here's a little bit of beauty for you as we speak about gratitude. My beautiful roses. I've had them today as a week since I received them. And I keep giving them fresh water and trimming the stems and they are still stunning. So whenever things are tough for me, I go to my flowers. I go to my stones and crystals and my breathing. All of these things are things that nature provided us. They really do give me a sense of peace and healing. And here's another one. So these were two bouquets. I broke them into, or one bouquet. I broke them into two bouquets. And uh, the lilies still smell amazing. The snapdragons, and little baby sunflowers absolutely love it and I took the leftover ferns and I actually made myself in a Hawaiian lay, way we call haku I braided myself a beautiful fern which I wore all day yesterday and this all came all those flowers came from one bouquet as did this and I just for me to heal for me to feel calm I like to just Play with my flowers so i made this and trimmed them up and watered them and because of that energy and intention towards them they've been lasting they're continuing to last they, they still look good i want to say a big mahalo nui loa thank you so much to our elders and relatives who joined us this afternoon as well as our staff members um Claudia Meyer-Smith, our occupational therapist, and our CARES counselor, and also my cohort and moderator for this afternoon, Xavier Smart. We hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day filled with peace, filled with reflection and renewal, in honor of your strength and resilience. Malama ponoi kokino, take good care of your body. Aloha nui, much love to you all. Aloha Judy. Mom, everybody, and a hui ho akuno. I hope to see you at 2.30 today 
or 8 p.m. tonight, and have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Aloha.